friends this is Ganesh hope you are doing great in this video I'm going to discuss about some possible questions about our data servers in that discussion area and this is coming under a quick reference playlist so I hope I can able to add some more video based on the topic which is coming under our data servers let's get into the slide excuse me so the first possible question would be define auditor servers. Okay, I have a few flow that gives better idea about auditor servers. I have a user interface and this user interface or application or a device needs a data from a database system, backend database system, whatever it is. Okay. In that case, we have a different um, options to send the data from backend to UI interface. Most probably this happens with the help of internet because there may be a same system or a different system. Mostly it's a user interface. Obviously, we need to depends on the internet. So uh, if you take a few examples in SAP itself, we have RFC function module or the developer, the UI developer can call our CDS view directly. So, so many things are actually available. And one of the communication channel which we have as auditor servers. So how it's actually designed? I have a database, and uh, the database, the data is coming to an application layer, and in that, uh, after the application layer, the auditor service, it's a service layer. I can say technically, it's a service layer. So there is a service layer on top of your application, and that reaches the internet, and the data after that it reaches the uh, UI interface or application, whatever it is. So the O data service is a service layer which helps to connect the um, data between the backend system to um, user interface. It could be anything, user application or any device. So that is the main idea of O data service. So a few points about the O data service are. O data servers generally we call it as open data protocol that is the like expansion I can say of O data and it is a service layer which allows the end user application or device to access the backend data okay and then it converts the backend data to a standard format so that where the end user can able to read the format read the data and for their own use okay. And then it's built on a HTTP protocol. So it's a lightweight protocol and it's easy to access data on the web. It's a very uh, generic way of uh, receiving the data for the UI. So the same thing we are following in SAP also. Okay. So the continuation of uh, the OData service basic is SAP Gateway. So whenever you just come to OData, SAP Gateway also plays a major role. So here, um, what is SAP Gateway? It's an integral part of SAP NetViewer, or we call it as SAP NetViewer Gateway. So this basically connects the outside uh, world to SAP, especially for the uh, data communication with the help of OData protocol. And uh, um, you may aware of this, ECC also has uh, a gateway service. You can create your own OData service that consumes the data from your ECC and send back to UI. But most of the business design, we have a gateway server separately. And uh, we do have a connection between uh, your gateway server and ECC to get the data. So gateway is a platform to connect the front end device to consume the SAP data. So we can do lot in a gateway. So we'll separately we'll see what kind of discussion questions may arise on the gateway level. And then formats. So what is the output of your auditor service? So it's mostly uh, we use a JSON or XML or Autumn Pub. So most of the recent um, common used format only we have in the OData. So it's easy to readable for the UI application or UI developer as well. In communication protocol, we have a SOAP or web services and we have REST also. It's a kind of evaluation, I can say, so SOAP and then web service and then REST. So currently OData is using REST. I'm not going very deeply about these things over here. So uh, we are using REST. Um, because of that, we have some advantages on it. We'll see about few things in the next slide. Okay, so these are the communication protocol, but we are using REST, especially for auditor protocol. And then um, 
advantages so we have lot i have listed few over here uh, just for our data service in, in a high level i displayed here uh, it's a human readable results obviously if you see any or data output in xml format or a json format it's very easy to understand what actually we are getting from the back end what kind of data what is the field name and what are the key fields are over there so it's very easy to understand okay so human readable results and it's relatively fast and easy to access data because of the previous uh, uh, points which we discussed or that it may be a rest or it is a uh, built on HTTP, so it's a lightweight application, so it's very fast on that. And then it supposed, I mean, OData is also to support the very basic web protocols. So any UI, any web portal design, they have this one like get, post, delete, and put is nothing but I want to get the data from backend. I want to give a request to create a data. I want to modify and delete everything I have to do from my web portal or a UI. So that needs to be support from the backend also. So OData is also supports very basic protocol of these three uh, in our uh, gateway or OData servers. And then it's a stateless application as well. We have stateful and stateless. So we are using a REST. So here it is a stateless application, meaning it is not going to save the data in your browser. So every request, there should be a new call. And then uh, OData implements using JSON and XML. So it's a common protocol for data transfer. Many UI are using that. So we also support, so we also able to deliver the OData with the help of uh, JSON and XML. And it's exposed the business data in all the devices, whatever device, like it may be a kiosk or it may be a, a mobile device, whatever it is, or a TV. Yes, it's possible because mostly the world is moving to the digital. So the OData supports uh, to send the information to all the device all kind of devices and um, your yeah, versions if you talk about versions we have one two three and four the recent one uh, different versions are there so it depends on your uh, implementation so you have to come to know what kind of version you have depends on the version few things are applicable or able to uh, implement few or not and uh, the next question about the version is how to see the auditor service version so if you just do a metadata of any of your auditor servers there is a tag called edmx data services in that it's mentioned what is the uh, what is your version of uh, your data so that you're able to see it i believe we have some more options also to see the version but this is the easiest way to see what is the current version of your raw data okay so anything else i have no nothing so this is very basic about uh raw data so if simply they ask why raw data this answers my might enough to understand and uh, you can understand about this raw data that you can add your own points also so thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye.